Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm in West Ealing, located in West London. West Ealing is part of the London Borough of Ealing and today we'll be checking out what Eel West Ealing is like on a Saturday. So if you're new around here, I'll appreciate if you can do me a favor, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe and to my returning subscribers thank you for your custom let's explore west ealing so one of the things i do like about west ealing is definitely the diversity i see in the place now immediately here we have the ealing farmers market which happens every saturday between 9 a.m to 1 p.m and you can find a lot of different things here ranging from meat products fruits and vegetables and these are all locally grown or, and you know farmers have their allotments and different things and you can get real organic stuff here like this lettuce you're seeing here on the right so definitely on a Saturday if you do come to this area in West Ealing and you're interested in really organic vegetables and fruits like you can see right here for example we've got carrots We've got pumpkins, we've got onions. Look how tiny those onions are, real or, uh, or organic onions here. So definitely if you're here on a Saturday and you're in the area, you can definitely check it out. The farmer's market here every, every Saturday between 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now, West Elin is literally just after the Elin Broadway. So for example, in the last vlog I did, we explored Elin Broadway and we saw the various, uh, univer the university that's there, for example, we saw the college, we also saw the train station and the restaurants. Well, West Elin as well is also a diverse area, even more so than Elin Broadway in terms of the shops and some of the products you can actually purchase in the area. So whenever you are thinking of traveling to Ealing and exploring it well West Ealing you could definitely consider visiting it on a Saturday especially for your shopping and just getting an idea of what the vibes is like I mean look at the array of fruits and veg we're seeing here it's, it's simply amazing and what is good is a lot of these things are organic organic meaning in the sense you know they haven't got a lot of the chemicals and various uh, things that other fruits and vegetables may have undergone so it's much more natural for you so those who are maybe are concerned about their diet or they have certain specific needs that they want and they prefer organic food definitely you can check out here so these are all the traders that have their store here they'll be here until around 1 p.m. and then after that's it until next Saturday. So I'm liking the vibes I'm seeing here in West Ealing so far. Um, let's see what else it's like around here. I, I do know from when I last visited, they do have a lot of um, continental uh, restaurants around. You have um, people from Turkey, Persia. There's also a Caribbean restaurant that is in the area. So there are quite a number of different shops that are available in West Ealing. So I'm going to take a ride and you can see the big buses are driving, you know, that's the E3, the E1, the 607. So there's different buses that are driving in the area. Nice vibe here on a Saturday so far. Wow, well, Eddie's walking a dog there. It's real nice chill vibes, you know. Now, if you're interested, especially in things like Caribbean food or, or things they use in Caribbean dishes, food stuff they use in Caribbean dishes, and also uh, African cuisine, you definitely want to check out this place here. It's called Big Ben. Now, Big Ben not only sells, um, you know, food stuff, they also sell fish okay fresh fish so if you want your salmon and your different things like that definitely check out big ben because you can get all of that here now let's see what we can get here so far in west Ealand. so your, your usual stuff they have the avocados okay wow wasn't expecting to see this 
We have coconut here. Let's see if we got water in it. I'll let you know if we got water. Not really here. Yeah, actually, like it got a little bit of water. So they, it's got coconut water in there, and that's really nice. They've also got um, plantain. Now, plantain, you can use the plantain for frying your chips. You can use plantain for even putting it in your salads if you want. And you can also use it for, people make snacks from plantain. And whoa, this is one of the biggest yams I've ever seen. This here, guys, is yam, okay? Now, yam is used a lot in um, West Indian dishes. You can make something called sulfur sauce. And you can put um, fish and potatoes and figs and stuff. And also, it's also used in West African dishes as well. So yam is definitely something that is used across the world. We also have cassava and different things. So I'm really liking what I've seen. It reminds me of where I went in Greenford the last time. Okay. So we're getting the usual, well not usual actually things that you don't usually see can be found here again i'm seeing breadfruit right here this is breadfruit right here very starchy actually but in some countries it's actually uh it's used to make the national dish so yeah that's very interesting we can find that here so if you're in west ealing and you want to check out some of these things you could definitely visit here so let's see what else West Ealing is about. I'm liking the vibe so far. You know, I feel like I'm in, in the Caribbean or, or, or even in Africa or somewhere in the Middle East, you know, with so much different array of things here. Look at this place here. Wow. Okay, so this is, it's called the Mass Food Center. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Um, and I'm seeing cabbages, mangoes apples plantain whoa it's amazing guys i mean just just look at this feast your eyes on this so if you're ever wondering possibly where you can get some of your vegetables and fruits and you know other things that you may know in your home country you can definitely check out west ealing good vibes so far I would say the high street is not particularly busy today. Um, don't know why that is. Possibly because some people may come out a bit more later for their shopping. But definitely what I'm noticing being here is the fact that you can get a variety of different products. I mean, apart from the farmer's market, which happens every, like the farmer's market happens every Saturday. But in the event that the farmer's market is not even happening, there's definitely other places where you can go to buy, you know, food stuff and also dining. They have a lot of restaurants down here, which we're going to certainly check out. So, so far, the vibes in West Ealing has been great. Let me know about what you think about West Ealing so far. Have you been here before? Does West Ealing remind you of any other places you've been in London? or apart across the world let me know what you think leave a comment in the comment section below i'll appreciate that and I'll, i'm very interested in knowing your opinion about what you think about this place so far so let me just check out another uh supermarket that i'm seeing here local and this one is very interested because it never closes it's open 24 hours every day so that's very interesting one of the rare features you will find in london actually a shop open 24 hours a day especially selling fruits vegetables and different things so we're gonna go across to that place and see what it's like so guys if you can see if i zoom in for you the name is cootie okay now they're open 24 7. now we're gonna go and check out the vibes at cootie Seem to be a, a queue of vehicles here. So this this here is a Kudi. So we just went to the mass and we saw similar things, you know, your fruits and vegetables and different things like that. We're actually seeing they do have this here. We're also seeing I'm seeing much more green here. So for example part and they're quite reasonably priced i mean parsley you can get two bunches this is really a big bunch 
right and you can get two bunches for a pound one pound fifty or you can buy one for 79p there's also minty i'm so i'm so some people enjoy a good uh, cup of minty really rich and spicy flavor you know minty is really lovely especially in the in the evening afternoon you can enjoy a cup of minty so they have that here sorry about that okay and they have spring onions i'm seeing spinach coriander so they really got an array of things here even turmeric very uh, you know turmeric is here some people use it in their seasoning some people drink it it allegedly is good for helping uh, fight against cancer so we do got a few things here which i'm seeing here all the lovely peppers wow i mean people who enjoy cooking this here will be a a great cook's paradise because look at the colors guys wow you got red you got green you got yellow all bell peppers okay we also got okra we got baby beans flat beans chili greens amazing so you're seeing what the place is like so far if you was to take a quick look inside let me see we got our butchers on the left mm. are you all right yeah i'm all right so yeah so far so good got butchers i think i'm gonna get something i do enjoy uh the corn so i might get myself a, a packet of corn but you can definitely see i mean the, the place is really packed everything that you will actually need and some of these seasonings you may not find in your big brand supermarket especially the continental stuff like these soups and so on so really interested if you ever visit this area check out kudi because you can get things here at a very reasonable price from what i'm seeing chickpeas they have um different spices rice oh my they got a whole different array of rice guys i mean if you see from right here go right to where this camera is going down on this on this uh section is all different types of rice and so on bashmati long grain so yeah I'm liking the vibe so far that I'm seeing and um, let's see I might get myself a, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the corn I might get myself a biscuit packet of biscuit some of these biscuits you don't see in some of the shops like they got this uh, strawberry biscuit here especially the kids might like this if you got kids And of course you got like all your different cheese and butter and different things like that so th this is pretty much it for this shop so i just wanted you to get an idea of, of what it's like inside so you've seen what it's like they also have good deals on uh things like uh if i show you here watermelons so for example for this whole one this big watermelon here you can get this for three pound 99 and this is real heavy and you also could get them in slices as well so so far you've seen a good vibe of west ealing let's continue walking and check out the place Now that's one of the reasons why I like travel. After all, this channel is called Inspire for Travel. And it's the amazing things you may see on the road. You know, like for example, not knowing, I would have seen so much things like what we've seen today in West Ealing. You know, some areas you may travel to in the UK, you might find these things. So information and knowing where to go to find certain things is important. And you definitely seen that today now for those who may not use you know some of these things that was uh, shown today 
that's perfectly all right but there are individuals who like to be a bit more diverse in their cooking and add different ingredients especially if they're used to certain ingredients from their home country but living here now you can get homesick and it's good to know that you can find some of these products in some places so yeah i'm definitely liking the vibe that i'm seeing in west Ealing. so we're gonna wait to cross the road right now this is what i can see cars are coming so usually what i do you will press this one here and once you see the wait sign I'll simply wait for that red man there to turn green and that will give me once it turns green then I know it's uh, safe to cross so that is that is how I do it there someone waving for the camera so yeah so far we're seeing it <laughs> hello all right someone waving for the camera so yeah so this is really this is really great so it's green now so i'm gonna keep it going right so your local shops you can get you know you could get your hair done and different cosmetic products right right here there's a coffee shop you can see and you can buy coffee you can also enjoy the experience of having a glass of coffee as well that's a new shop actually um, when I came here last I didn't see that here and this is quite popular now you know we've seen Dam Damas we've seen Kudi and now there's a new one it's called hyper mosh okay and clearly it's similar to what we've seen in the previous uh shops that we've been so definitely a, a, a feature i'm noticing a time and time again in west Eden is lots of fruits and vegetables and different international uh things that use for people's cooking can be found here so that's very interesting now Tesco, this is a Tesco Express, how are you doing? Yeah, this is a Tesco Express, quite popular in the UK. It's a big brand, a supermarket in the UK, can be found all over England. So that's your regular. Now over there, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a shop called, or oh, this truck is in the way a bit. Let's wait till it moves. Shop called mind body and spirit and they do things like crystals Himalayan salt lamps and different things like that can be purchased there so that's very interesting a unique shop you can't really see a shop like that in Elon Broadway so West Elon so far guys let me know what you think West Elon so far is it do you, do you think you see as a place you can pos possibly visit do you feel you like to come and shop here perhaps one day you know what what do you think about West Ealing so far it's, it'll be good to know because um you know especially when people who live outside of London sometimes it could be a struggle to find certain things and I'm, I'm really so far impressed with the fact that you can find so many different things here it's really interesting what are your thoughts on that let me turn the camera for you to get an idea of what I'm seeing now So, this is a shop called Dreams, okay, and they do things like beds and mattresses, and those ladies that pass there, they're actually from the Somali community, and I must say, West Elin is definitely a diverse uh, community, you have people from Somalia, from India, from the Caribbean, and different places so it really got a cosmopolitan feel for me so far in West Ealing oh there's even a gym here as well 
so that's good you know you don't have to travel too far for your exercise if you live around here and this is what I was saying to you before there's Persian palace now this is you know Persian cuisine and that's coming from you know food from Iran so this is a restaurant okay so you can come here and dine here as well this is also a bar okay one of the new bars in the area actually it's called star and scorpio scorpio and it really got a luxurious feel to it i mean you could tell by the the gold style doors and glass frames you know it's really um it got a luxurious feel to it so that's really nice you know that's really nice you can actually see that and they also do menus they have salad here they have drinks they have food there's appetizers as well so you could have a read of that what of we could pause the video and just read through so you can also see that you can also get something to eat if you were to come to this community so so far i'm liking the vibe okay so this is an it let me show you this guys wow really so there's an italian a bar restaurant here and you can get you know italian pizza and right next to it there's an indian restaurant it's called hawali indian cuisine okay and right now i'm seeing if you read there it says the best business of 2021 so they've got they've gotten an award for the excellence so amazing guys i mean west Elin really is diverse in terms of some of the things we're finding here so i mean if you if you find Elin broadway if you find in the shops there is regular shops you see everywhere definitely give west Elin a try because you'll be finding more diverse shops restaurants bars in this community and finally here we have mulana another persian restaurant and you can see that guy is actually uh he's doing the bread there and there's also a fireplace where he can really do the pita bread and it blows up into a nice soft type of bread and you can eat that with salad and meat if you eat meat and different sauces so that's really interesting this area I'm just going to turn my camera over here and I'm seeing Laguna there's also, there's also Iram Shalik another Persian restaurant and, and amazingly if I'm not mistaken of course you can't forget your local pub that's Prince Arthur okay you can't forget the pub but there's also a Greek restaurant right in front of me right here guys okay that's a Greek restaurant so Ealing is definitely a diverse community. It's definitely a place where you can see a whole different array of restaurants, supermarkets from people who have come from different parts of the world. So I do trust that you have enjoyed today's vlog and I appreciate your time for watching. I'll appreciate you if you can also like the video, share the video also and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. My name is Wemba Imani and you've been watching Inspire for Travel.